What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to prevent the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 from randomly crashing or from crashing when launching the software. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions, then leave a comment and let me know. This error can be caused by different issues, and we will go over the most common solution first. Most users have reported that installing or reinstalling the Microsoft Visual C++ and the Redis Tutable Update 3. Both links to this page will be in the description below. Simply select Download and then double click the installer to install the update. In addition, you will have to restart the PC after the installation is done. In case your problem persists, then make sure that you're using the latest graphics card driver. I suggest using the GeForce Experience application for Nvidia GPUs, but you can also use the AMD driver suit. Depending on how frequent you're updating your GPU, this tweak could resolve the crashing issue you are getting. In the Drivers tab, simply click on Download, and the application will automatically download and install the latest driver. Next, make sure that your game files are not corrupted. For the Steam version, open up your Steam library, and right-click the Microsoft Flight Simulator, and then select to go to Properties. In the Local Files tab of this window, select Verify integrity of game files, which will take a minute to verify and re-download any missing or corrupted game files. If your problem persists, then the issue might be related to your firewall or antivirus program blocking some parts of the software, hindering you from playing the game properly. Search for Firewall to open your firewall and network protection system settings. On this window, navigate to Allow an app through firewall. Here, click on Change Settings and uncheck the Microsoft Flight Simulator in this program list. Lastly, if nothing helped, then your system specifications might be the reason on why you are unable to run the game properly. If this is the case, then uninstall the software and make sure to reinstall it to your solid state drive. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.